extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to create curl designs in Illustrator. And I'm going to use the Astute Graphics Vector Scribe 2.1 Extend Path tool. Now to use that I'm just just go over to the, the actual tool and there's the tool there. I've actually set it in spiral mode 0.22 start point as well as use fixed radius 58. Reverse curvature click OK. But before I do that I'm actually going to duplicate this little line here and that's the start point for all the spiral curls and but I'm going to create say control C and I'm going to do control V three or four times I don't want to create too many spirals of course you can create as many as you want just remove that one right just go there select the one that's on top now just go to extend path tool and when you do that you actually see a spiral spiral scroll come up and just gonna create that first spiral now don't actually want that spiral until a little bit later so I'm just gonna go to command 3 which actually hides the thing you can also do that via the object hide option there now I'm just gonna go to this one and again I'm gonna go over to the extend path tool and for this one and now I'm just gonna go over to the arrows and now it's, this is the left and right arrows on the keyboard and if you just select that one, actually you see you can actually just change the fixed radius. Now I'm just going to go with that. Uh, just, just go over there. Now I don't want that one either. So I'm going to go Command 3 to remove it. Now extend path. Again you'll see the... So I don't want to go with that one. I'm actually going to extend that out a bit more just by continuing to push the right arrow uh, just go over there right that's another one I want to get rid of so command 3 or control 3 go back to the extended part tool and again do the increase the spiral so just make it really much a lot, lot larger okay done that now if I actually go command 3 that's it. I've gone all through all the various paths I've created. Now I go to Object, Show All, so you actually see the spiral. And there you have. Now I could have extended it out a bit further, so it didn't actually overlap. But uh, see the basic idea. You just basically extend it out, extend it out, extend it out, and of course you can set it as large or small as you want for this spiral. So once you've done that, you can of course modify the stroke as well as the width profile. And then you have a design. Of course, you can now expand the appearance and use this design in many other places in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest.